Hello, how are you today, my friends and brethren in the Lord? In the Lord? Welcome to our God's Word for Today devotional. Let me read to us our text for our devotional today in the book of Mark, chapter 3, verse 22 to 27. And the scribes who came down from Jerusalem were saying, He is possessed by Beelzebul, and by the prince of demons he cast out demons. And he called them to him and said to them in parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand, but is coming to an end. But no one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man. Then indeed he may plunder his house. We see here a ridiculous accusations from the scribes who saw the miracles that Jesus did by casting out the demons from this man or this blind and mute. This story of casting out demons from a man who was blind and mute is seen also in Matthew chapter 12, verse 22 to 23. And when the scribes saw it, this is what they commented. He is possessed by Beelzebul. And by the prince of demons, he cast out the demons. Who is Beelzebul? Beelzebul is Aramaic and means lord of the house. The demons uh, he cast out uh, was characterized as Beelzebul, or it's because of the power of Beelzebul. The similar Beelzebul or Beelzebub is a parody, which means Lord of the Flies. Beelzebul is a variation of Baal, the primary god of the Canaanites and the Phoenicians. The question is, were the scribes right? These scribes, as we all know, they have high degree of education and expertise in the Torah, in the law of Moses. Thus, they feel that they have the qualifications to judge Jesus that they have the entitlement to judge anybody with respect to the law. According to their line of thinking, that since Jesus doesn't follow the same rules as they did, his supernatural power must come from a different spiritual force other than God. So everything must be according to their own standards, according to their own line of thinking. But Jesus is the perfect son of God. He is Wise in his perfect wisdom, Jesus answered them by asking a question. This is how he rebuked them. How can Satan cast out Satan? He then explained, if a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand. But is coming to an end. It is something that is illogical. Apparently, the accusation of these scribes is out of plain logic. It's ridiculous. For Jesus, they are not logical. They are not reasonable in their thinking. How can Satan cast out himself? Will anybody just poke his head with a hammer? Or is he going to shoot himself with his own foot as we speak in idiomatic expression you are shooting your own, your feet with your own with your own gun this is something ridiculous and jesus further said no one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man then indeed he may plunder his house jesus was saying that he cannot use Satan's power to cast out the demon. He needs to bind Satan first, who is the, the power behind the demon position, in order to free the man. He does not do this through um, the use of Satan's power, but through the power of the Holy Spirit. So as we see the scribes here, we see that they had really a hard heart because they cannot just accept that Jesus is the Messiah, that he is the divine 
son of God, as Jesus proclaimed him, that he is the Messiah, he is the coming fulfillment of the prophecy in the Old Testament. Jesus reasoned out with illogical, irrational, out of plain logic, thinking that Jesus did this, and it is a ridiculous accusation. This is when people are not open, but they are hard in their hearts to accept that what they see or what they saw was plainly an act of God, an affirmation or a confirmation that Jesus really is divine. So perhaps you and I have this kind of heart also, even though we see the evidences and we have no other argument to believe that Jesus is God, Jesus is Lord, because of the great or the uh, evidences that we, we see that he is the God who revealed himself in the scriptures and even for the many things that we know that God has created in this world that comes from a designer who is God himself and that God himself is revealed in the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's take note. Let's not be, be like the, the scribes to have a hard heart. Let's allow the Holy Spirit to soften our hearts in order to be teachable. Let us have a meek heart. For blessed are those who are meek and that we will be able to re receive and understand that all these revelations are coming from God. Let us pray. Father, thank you so much for the reminder of how people can be hardened so much even for the plain revelation of God to them, especially during those times when Jesus did miracles and the scribes could not just believe and accept that Jesus is the Son of God. And we pray, your Father, that you will not allow us to come to the same predicament, that we will be hardened, that we will not be open and teachable or meek to receive the revelation from God through your word. I pray, your Father, that you keep us always having a soft heart, teachable heart, even today. Thank you for this truth, Lord. Thank you for this great reminder today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you.